Kathy Crispino was on our show before with her sport fanatic husband. They were here back in 1990. Her husband Joe was here too. Here's what she told us three years ago. Normally, the room is filled with all my husband's friends. They come over to watch the games. Why do they come here to watch the games? Because we don't have just one game. We have a game on TV number one, golf on TV number two, horses on TV number three, more football on TV number four, then over here we have the sportscaster. It gives scores every five minutes. I think that's what it does. I just dust it. That's all I do with it. Oh, by the way, here's Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are you? We can't talk to Joe right now because I'm not allowed to talk during the football games. Have things changed? Yeah, the TV's got bigger. The sports screen got bigger across the living room. They have changed. It's That's about it. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Scott. I'm just... <laughs> I, 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 I'm just... Uh, you know, I was thinking about it, and, and I was I was hoping that uh, you sent this lemo a little early for her. You should have sent it January 1st. Because? That's the big day. You know, that's when all the bowl games. Oh, are I right. know. But we don't, there's only 12 hours of football uh, this Thursday. Uh, I'm heartbroken. From 10 in the morning till 10 at night. Yeah, but over the whole weekend, it's about 60 hours. Oh, yeah, we have, we have a full weekend. I'm just talking about Thursday. Are you getting kind of, like, hyped up for it? You getting ready? Oh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm but don't all the games start to, you know, I was watching the other night, the other Sunday, uh, before 60 Minutes. I was watching some game. I mean, unless you know the colors. Uh, he knows it, all the players' It all kind of looks team. the same out there. Mm -hmm. You know, they, uh, the field, everything all looks, I'm thinking, doesn't this run together in people's minds? And you can flip the channel, and there's another game going, and it's the same game. Well, They're just in different team. colors. It's a different team, a different guy. You know, there's, there's different things happening. Yeah. Uh, you, if, you, if you like sports, each sport, I mean, each time you turn on a game and it's a new game, it's a, it's a new drama. You yeah, know. when you were here before, one of the things I, I've still not been able to understand yes. is what, you, you're not playing it. So when you watch it for hours after hours, what are you getting out of it, really? Yeah. It's the same thing you get out of watching a soap opera. You know, it's, it, That's right. it's, it's the same thing. It's, all all That's I can right. tell you is this. The, the last time I was here, and that was yeah. a few years ago, and we're back this t this time. Uh, in watching a game, it, the game has a, a a beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. You know, and each one is a different story. Each player uh, uh, does something different. Each one. So it's theater something to you. It's theater. It's, a it's theater like, of sports. And it's creative. It's always different. It's always new. And the outcome, we hope, in, in Chicago anyway, that the outcome turns out favorable. Are you, do you feel shut out, Kathy, still? Yes, I feel shut out. I, it's just, I'm just really disgusted with it. I'm just so sick of it. It is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, he she, bought bigger TVs now. The TVs are bigger. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. All I can tell you is this. She, she might feel shut out, but she's not too unhappy because uh, <clears throat> since the last time we were on this show... Oh, here we go. Here no, we go. Since the last time, what did I get? No, since the last time we were on this show, we... Uh, uh, we happen to be noticed by somebody. I'm yeah. doing a little sports talk show with Doug Buffon. It's uh, shown at the Hollywood Casino in Aurora. We do that every so week. So even more And with she sports. gets the paycheck yeah. from it. So she's not too unhappy about it. I'm unhappy about it. Oprah says she and her producers believed they would be exposing ignorance and confronting hate, but they were wrong. The men came with their own agenda, and in the end, a panel of racists were given an hour-long platform to spread their message of evil. If you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsamon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence. 